Hello, my name is Dr. Lindsay Baines, and I'm one of the lecturers here at ARU on the BSc Ons Public Health. The BSc Ons Public Health is a very cross-disciplinary course. You will be studying lots of the topics which I'm sure you've come into contact with in the past, such as sociology, psychology, epidemiology, research, and science. So it's a real multidisciplinary course. You'll be looking at populations or small cohorts in communities, looking to see what are the risk factors for developing a particular disease? Why are some people more vulnerable than others? And then developing particular programs to target their awareness. You'll also be looking at decision-making. What causes patients or clients to make the decisions that they make? For example, um, anti-vaxxers, people who do not support vaccinations, what is really driving that decision-making? What is really influencing them to make that decision? Also currently with the COP conference, we've been following that in class and we've been following the different agendas for different countries in terms of climate change and why some countries are more advanced and making a bigger contribution than others. But more importantly, why are some countries not making the contributions that they need to be making and not reaching their targets? And we've taken that a step further in class as well. And we've started to look at the negotiation process. How do you, as a public health professional, for example, negotiate with a country who is not reaching its targets? So in terms of students we currently have on the course and who will do well on the course going forward, are quite diverse cohort of students. So the first group would be students progressing from college or further education or from school particularly students who are very cross-disciplinary in their approach and their outlook on life. For example, those who enjoy both science and psychology and sociology, and who are good communicators and who have an eye for detail and are interested in current world events. But equally, we also have mature or lifelong students on the course who also do very well. Students, for example, who have had careers previously, maybe in finance or industry, who have skills which are highly portable across into public health. So while public health is a good first career, it's also highly suitable for students maybe looking for a second career. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon.